Hello guys, my name is Mike and today we are going to use CSS. This is a thing which I was supposed to uh, talk about it later in the next comic tutorials but I was thinking that probably it should be now and uh, we can later speak about uh, widgets like buttons or I don't know entries, levels which need some uh, colors, backgrounds, shapes and so on and uh, I think that we can get started. The first thing you need to know is we have here a function called low CSS and uh, this function you will load it all the time when you will create an application, a GTK application and this um, functions long well, function sorry <laughs> it looks like this don't be afraid about so much code in here because the main thing which you need to know is only two function and the first one will be gtk style context add provider from screen which allows you to work with uh, all gtk uh, widgets and uh, so on uh, to uh, create those uh, changes through CSS and the second one is GTK CSS provider load from file the name says everything load from file which means it's a file uh, which uh, will, will be loaded and will put it inside your provider and uh, there is an error check which I believe that's it's it's a G boolean which uh, yeah, some of that, which uh, returns uh, true or false, but true will be not uh, be, or at least it should not be used because I think it declared if deprecated, and we will just check it to see if it's true. So let's start for beginning, uh, seeing what about this is with this function gtk style context add provider from screen. I will copy it and I will draw it right here. And if we see here, says GTK style context add provider from screen and says adds a global style provided to screen which will be used in style construction for all GTK styles context under screen. So uh, it takes to three parameters. The first one is a GTK screen, uh, the second one is a GTK style provider, and the third one is a priority. priority as you can see, this it says something like typically this will be in range between GTK style provider uh, priority fallback and GTK style provider priority user. Uh, it's something about it's a macro I think, which is one to eight hundred, and uh, it goes like one, two hundred, four hundred, six hundred, and eight hundred. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. I think. Uh, yes, 1, 200, 400, 600, and 800. We're all gonna use 600. Okay. And the second one, GTK CSS provide the load from file. Let's see the app, app of this function. Uh, it's a gboolean, like I said. Uh, loads the data combined into the file into the CSS provider here, making it clear any previously previously loaded information so what's important is is those three parameters css provider it's the file uh, the gif file pointing to a file to load is our style css file and the last one is the error return location for g error or null returns through the return value is deprecated yeah, like i said and files will be only returned for backwards completely reason if, if an error is not null okay so let's see uh, to call this function like say we need three uh, uh, parameters uh, the first one is our provider the second is the gtk display pointer and the third one is the screen gtk screen pointer and then uh, here 
we are, like I said, I use uh, 600. So GTK Star Provider Priority Application is the same like I, I'm writing here now, 600. But it's not uh, important now. So uh, we then have a file name called style CSS. And this has a pointer for this. I will pass it to G file CSS file pointer and we call a function g file new for pet which takes uh, our file pointer and we store it here we have the arrow and then the, we we are going to use those three pointers providers provide a new gtk display get default uh, the, the display get default which is uh, default display and default screen which will pass the display inside and the last one gtk css provide a load from file function which takes the provider which we created here and we we were passing here the second one is the file pointer uh, the, the g file pointer which uh, is our uh, style css and the last one is the arrow and later we will drop the provider so let's see, I go now into my home where I have the workplace and here let me make it bigger and I have the style which I will draw this. Okay, so let's see, we have a declared old GTK window pointer, a button, we call the GTK init, we are not talking about this because we already did just before or after gtk init there is a call of low css which you can use it all the time when you create a program where you call this css function like i said it's the only function uh, which you need to can work with your css file uh, css with the css and uh, we create a window uh, default size uh, we create a border and then a single delete event which calls you to get main quit when we click here on X. The next one we created a button with a level, let's say send, whatever, button, or uh, click me, or something like this. We add it to our window. We uh, use the G single connect to use our button on click it to call same GTK main quit like here uh, and then let, uh, we use null as less parameter because uh, we are not passing nothing to this function and we will show everything what window has inside and what target came in so when we run this program it's nothing special more than just a window with a button inside and uh, okay we have here uh, back on red I know why well, let me fix it because I didn't save it it was already there so when I call when I run the program well, it looks like this well, which is a window a regular button which is big enough almost the same size like the window is this. one thing you have to know is that the size of the window after create is the 200 200 is only this size without the decoration Okay, when I click the button, it closes the window, and then uh, the program is exit. Now let's start using CSS. So this is our CSS file. Okay, so there are some some options which you can use. There are some default names like GTK Window. So when you try GTK Window, okay, uh, let's say. say red or blue whatever okay save it now run the program and see what happens it doesn't have nothing because it's not working with gtk window like probably you were expecting so we will drop the gtk and also with the lower case window and then when we run it we still have nothing 
let's see why well, background uh, window which our window should have ah I see now sorry because we need a semicolon here one mistake and everything is gone you see now we have our uh, blue background window let's move to the button the button we can use two things four buttons yeah if you, you say it's button sorry about that button uh, we do the same back Save it, run it, and uh, our button should be red, and it is. We can, uh, and you can see here, click me, which is black. You can't see it. Uh, we can change it. Uh, let's say color, which is the text color. Color. I don't know. Let's say yellow. Save it, run it, and the text will be. Yes, it's yellow. The next one, hmm, let's say border color. Let's use a black one. Save it. Run it. And there is there is a border, which is black. You don't see because it's uh, not so big, but we can change it. But border. pixel for example save it run it and now you see it it's black okay the next thing we can let's make it round let's make it circle circular. so for that we will use border radius I know 100% just make it round save And we have a very, very circular, I don't know if that is circular, run button, which works as expected. Well, I think this is about everything you need to know about uh, how you uh, use CSS into your application. Everything else which you need to know it's about the way you learn how to use uh, CSS. You should, uh, if you don't know already, you should learn how CSS works and uh, test it to see which of those properties are working, which are not working. And uh, one thing you should know, if there is a mistake in your program, then probably that mistake will crash your whole uh, CSS process and uh, I will show you something let's put here I know those lines and if uh, slow slashes and if I run the program now bam it's dead everything is dead it's not working because we didn't check the error from the CSS uh, here like I said uh, uh, GTK CSS provide a low from file which uh, takes as parameter g error, error pointer and uh, this is a g boolean function so check for return and if is uh, okay you get uh, your program right if not you know that the problem with your file and maybe it is a missing file like uh, let me show you something let me drop this one save it which everything is fine but i changed the name i put it as here when I run it still happens the same nothing's happened no error because we didn't check the error of that file which should be checked and now when everything is fine without the error checking of course our problem will run but we'll never we will never know if there is a problem to our program okay guys see you next time until then please check again the program until you understand it, like I said, don't be afraid to 
uh, don't get scared about seeing all those things here because nothing is important more than this one and this one once that you learn these two functions and you understand them then you will know uh, their parameters then you know the parameters they are using are those and the function they they need and uh, this, the last one is uh, our gtk css provider load from file which will be uh, less to use it into your program see you next time and if you like it please subscribe